If you've been to the Salt Tavern, I'm sure you've enjoyed the duck fat fries, the donuts with lavender honey. And joining us now to tell us much more about his work at Salt is the executive chef, Conrad Niederbring, a loyal of Blakefield grad, also recently named by the Baltimore Sun as one of the top 10 chefs to watch in all of Baltimore. Conrad, welcome aboard, chef. How you doing? Great to have you Absolutely. here. Absolutely. This is exciting. We're going to get into the cooking in a minute. We talk about Salt. First, I want to talk to you top 10 to watch in all of Baltimore. That, that's a pretty big uh, elite crew, I would say. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun meeting up with uh, a couple of the other candidates and everything to get it, because I was uh, just moved back from New York. Okay. So it was really interesting to meet a bunch of the younger chefs that are out there to see okay. where my head should be at, you know? Okay, yeah. all right, you guys will be battling it out for, for top 10 overall <laughs> in a few years probably, yeah. right? So that's exciting, and, uh, and uh, look, we, we know you're in great company with the top 10 uh, to watch. Um, beyond that, at SALT, where you're doing your work now, how long have you been at SALT? Uh, since June. Since June. So you guys have a menu that changes through the year, correct? You're prepping for spring now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so right now it's a little bit more difficult because of the season change. We're kind of in between. So we have the late winter vegetables, then we have some early spring vegetables coming in. Gotcha. So I have probably 10 items to change over the next three weeks. Gotcha. But as, as soon as those vegetables start coming in, then right. it'll be really good. You need that spring surge of, of growth in the garden. Um, talk a little bit about what we're cooking up now. So right now, this is on the menu. Uh, it's a, uh, we do it grilled at the restaurant, but today I did it pan seared. Um, it's a quail. So you get two whole quail in this little saute. It's a warm salad of the, uh, some farro. Uh, some hedgehog mushrooms, pickled cherries, and I have pea shoots in there. It's very fragrant. And I will tell I, you that, Conrad. Yeah. Yeah, it smells great. And then I have a, uh, it's a smoked carrot puree. That's smoked carrot puree, yeah. and that's what you'll be ultimately plating up to. Plating on to. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a fantastic dish. While it's finishing up on the stove, tell us what else you brought over here. These are some amazing uh, dishes people can get at salt, correct? Yeah, so uh, these are a couple new things and a couple things that are uh, kind of old standbys for me at sure. least. Uh, on the left here, we have the uh, octopus. It's going to be a Marcona almond romesco on the bottom with a little wow. bit of sherry vinegar, a light citrus salad, which is a grapefruit and fennel. And then uh, we do a grilled octopus and some uh, crispy local potatoes. Wow. Okay, so that's, um, that's like, a, like a, an octopus a way to just really dress it up. Yeah. Um, this one, I mean, the, if we can get a little tilt, the coloration in that is amazing. Um, what do you have there? So this is the Arctic char crudo. Um, it's garnished with uh, some Castelvetrano olives, some micro herbs, some trout roe. Uh, there's a pickled serrano chili on there, but not too many because they're mm. pretty spicy. Uh, on the bottom is a little broth of a jasmine tea that's been sweetened with some of the lavender honey that we use. Wow, coloration's uh, incredible. And just some pomegranate seeds. Love that. Okay, and then lastly, lastly, uh, I see the egg yolk, but that's, there's far more going on here. What do we yeah. have? <laughs> so it's a, it's a Wagyu beef tartare. It's got a Parmesan vinaigrette, which uh, has a lot of, uh, I like to use uh, fish sauce. So it has a lot of different uh, Parmesan fish sauce, so it's really umami. Mm. Uh, you get some grilled mushrooms, which kind of change throughout the year, some Dijon on the plate. Uh, on the back is a uh, crispy sesame rice crisp. Ah, that's what that is. And okay. uh, just a whole just egg yolk. The protein. I don't like going to a restaurant and getting a tartare and you get the little tiny quail egg yolk. No. It's not good. Uh, that's legit. You need the whole uh, thing. Protein, right? <laughs> feed the body, feed, feed the muscles, we say in the gym. Uh, amazing dishes. I know your philosophy at Salt just involves those fresh ingredients, locally sourced when possible, yeah, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we use a company called Chesapeake Farm to Table. So it's a bunch of the local farm companies and uh, you can get it shipped into your restaurant, just like an online order. I try and get them two times a week because they only deliver two times a week. Uh, if not, stop by the farmer's market on Saturday or Sunday. I love it, man. Yeah. Hey, all right, let's plate this up. Cool. Let's, uh, let's see what the finished product would look like for those heading to salt and maybe interested in the quail. And again, I, I know you can't smell it at home, but this is so fragrant. Um, just uh, that base you have there it smells really fantastic. Yeah, the uh, the pickled cherries really really bring everything out with the nice acidity. Okay. Um, and then uh, the quail, I assume, will go right near the top. Or it's going to go on the top. Okay. And then it's go well, first. I got to brush it with this. Uh, it's a hot honey. Okay. So in the honey is going to be. Uh, just a few seconds left, so we'll have to do it on the quick. While you do that, I want to mention that, of course, Salt is located in Butcher's Hill. Uh, it's Upper Fells Point area, you know, open Tuesday through Saturdays. You've got the happy hour going there, uh, all kind of specials, so that's fantastic. And look at this finished product. Oh, Conrad, you've outdone yourself <laughs> here, my friend. 
No wonder you are one of our top 10 to watch in all of the Baltimore area. Chef Conrad with Salt Tavern, thanks so much for coming in, sir. Thanks. Great to have you here. For sure. We'll be checking out Salt in short order, and we'll be back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.